Okay, so um, this is a first part of a multi-part series uh, walking through an example to illustrate the core concepts behind the, the certification called the Heroku Architecture Credential. So um, this first example um, is going to basically just set up a um, local web application, just something we can start with. And, 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 and one of the things is uh, so there's some prerequisites before you can even like do this yourself, right? One is you'll need uh, Git, which is a, you, know, you can either use a command line version or a um, GUI version of Git. Uh, GitHub uh, is a, a place to store repository or Git repositories online. So you'll need a GitHub account. And that's because uh, Roku has some deep integrations with GitHub in particular. Uh, different than other uh, online repositories. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime for your machine, lets you run your Node application locally. Right? And then um, the next thing we'll need is sort of a starter application. Uh, in this case, I'll provide one for you. I mean, I guess you could do your own, but this one's TypeScript in particular. Um, and then I have linting integ integrated with it. So it has some things that we're going to use some features like continuous integration from Heroku to use um, use uh, the, the features that are in this repository. So I'd recommend just using this one. So the first step is to download it. So I'm going to open up the link in the new tab. And I'm going to go to the repo. And I'm going to use the download feature because I want to I want to download it and then create my own repo from this repo. I don't want a clone of this exact repo. So I grab those files, I unzip them, I can get rid of this, I can get rid of this. Okay, uh, get rid of my zip file. I'm going to put this, um, I'm going to put it on my desktop, okay, and uh, I'm going to rip up a command line tool, cd desktop, okay. And Heroku cert. Make my window bigger. Okay. So you can see there's a couple files here. Um, first thing I'm going to do uh, before I do anything else is I'm going to turn this into a Git repository. So I'm going to do a Git init, but I'm using the command line version. Um, and what I'm going to do also is I'm going to go ahead and create a commit, uh, first commit with this. So Git, again, do it however you want. I'm going to make my first commit. Okay, so, and then just for completeness, I'm going to go to GitHub. I'm going to actually uh, push this to GitHub. So I'm going to create a new repository called, um, I already have one called, so what's this called? This is called Heroku Cert. Because I was working earlier. So I'm going to call mine temporarily, just call temp. Because I'm going to throw it away in a minute. But, you know, you will keep your own. You can create Heroku cert on your own if you want to, or wherever you want to call it. So I create it, <clears throat> and I'm going to add remote, copy that line, paste it here, and then, uh, so now I have an origin, which points to my GitHub repository, so I get git push origin master. I'm going to push the master branch of my local repo up to master. And you will see now, reload, I've got, now I'm fully synchronized. I have my local copy and I have my GitHub version. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now that I have this is because this is a Node project, the first thing I really need to do now is actually install the dependencies. So that's going to be npm install. Um, again, there's, just so you know, there's no yarn lock. There's a package lock. So this means you know you need to use npm, not yarn, if you're wondering. PM install. I think that's the next step. Uh, this, since I've already done this before, this will only take maybe 30 seconds, um, probably because it's been cached. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it run here. I just want to take a minute. Uh, of course, the moment I say that, it takes longer. There it goes. Okay, so I'm good. 
Okay, so let's just get oriented to this project. Again, this is not a tutorial on Node per se, but you know, I just want to at least walk you through some of the core pieces of it. So it's not completely unfamiliar. So um, what you'll notice here is Node modules are what just got installed as the dependencies, right? And we have the source, which we'll talk in a minute, which is the source code. ESLint is the linting configuration for ESLint. Prettier is the code formatting configuration file. Package, package lock are the node dependencies and basically the node configuration. And then tsconfig is the configuration for TypeScript. Um, and again, this is a TypeScript project, and that's, that'll be relevant for illustrating one core part of how Heroku works. So the first thing we'll just look at is the source. Just to say that this is a very simple source. You'll notice that um, it's, it's eight lines long, essentially hello world for Express. The only thing I added was cores, which allows for cross-origin um, requests. And this because this is going to be an API server and with a client that maybe is hosted somewhere else. So we need cores activated. So uh, again, this is just a very basic node application. Um, and then one thing key thing here is looking through the package JSON. Um, one, what's in here, you'll see the dependencies. Again, it's just basically cores and express. And then the dev dependencies are things all part of the build them tool. So you see you got linting, you got TypeScript, right? Um, and then the key thing here, if you scroll up, are the scripts. So we have a couple scripts that we can run. So I'm going to maybe bring this over here so I can see Right? So one of which is called build. So I'm going to run that and see what happens. Um, so one thing you got to remember, this is TypeScript. So Node itself can't directly run TypeScript. So if I run npm run build, what that's going to do is take that server.ts, run it through a TypeScript compiler, and it outputs a distribution folder. And you'll see that there's a server there, basically. So basically, it just converts the TypeScript to JavaScript. right? And then if you look at the next command, which is called start or serve, it basically just runs node on that JavaScript file. So if I run npm run serve or start, I'll use start. Okay. And you'll see it's listing on port 3000. So if I was to bring up a browser and go to localhost 3000, there's my hello world. Not very exciting. Hello world. Okay. What else is there? The other scripts, um, lint, this kind of control C, um, yarn, no, I keep on saying yarn, npm run lint. Um, that's just going to do um, code checking. There shouldn't be any errors because I don't have any errors, but if there was errors, this would error out with an error. Um, I, I have a I have a dumb test, which is basically always works. It exits with a zero. So there is the theory is a test in here, so if I just do npm run test, it's going to succeed, but I have no, I, I'm not really doing testing on this example. And the last one is all these watch ones. So what one thing it, this has is that for local development, you can run npm run watch, and under the hood it's running actually both watch node and watch ts. And what this essentially does is it does as you make changes to your source code. It does like a live reload of your code and then restarts your node server. So that way you can kind of watch your, you know, you don't have to keep on hitting restarting your node application. So that's all that is. So I'm, that's okay. So that's pretty much walking through the project. And right now, one thing you'll notice is um, even though there's a new dist folder, by the way, you notice that there's nothing um, like to be pushed. That's because dist, the git ignore here, which is right here, uh, basically says don't commit uh, the node modules or dist into your repository or don't add it to your repository. So those are basically artifacts, something that we don't want to put in our uh, node repository. So that's basically walking through the node application before we even touch Heroku. So we're going to stop the video with that, and the next section uh, we're going to start looking at Heroku in particular.